Hello everyone, this is Carell Mel with Key Lifestyle Solutions. Grandmother Raven's Turtle Call lights up the sky. And this is your astrological 2024 update for this coming year. Very important year. A year of um, creating new patterns, new things, new ways of being. There's lots to do. And I'm excited to kick off with this uh, astrological for each sign. Um, the timestamps will be in the description for your sign so you don't have to listen to the whole thing. But it's easier if I can just stay in the flow and do the reading for each sign instead of separately. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is just shuffling the cards and letting them fall where they may. Uh, just to see what the general message is for each sign. I'm going to use the same deck, but if I need clarification, I will use a different deck. So we shall begin with the sign of Aries today. Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's see. I did shuffle them earlier and I got them prepared and they're ready to go and meditated on them and they're smudged. Okay, sacred ones, truly grateful for the messages and uh, cards that are coming out for Aries today. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse for you, Aries. I love this. This is coming out of that mental fog in 2024. It, that's exciting. It's going to, you know, the road ahead is going to be a lot clearer for you this year in 2024. Um, things may not have been as clear in the last few years. I've even noticed that for myself, for sure. Um, but this is a good thing. This is this is coming out of the fog and just feeling more like you again. If you haven't been feeling like you or there's been things like kind of not making sense, this is good. Okay, so we got a few cards that jumped out. We have the Two of Swords. I'm just going to lay them all out so you can see. Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Moon straight up. Well, this is telling a little story here. There is change. Like, there is going to be about a confusion about which friendships to let go of this year um, and which people to let go. That's very clear. This is very much about um, relationships in your world. Uh, and you're going to be more in alignment with what you want because you're coming out of the fog here. The only confusion is, is like you have feelings for these particular relationships and you're going to feel very emotional about about some of these endings. Um, but you used to hold them really close to your chest. It's just, so you want to make sure that you're doing it in a good way and honoring the friendship that you had. I think that's really important too. Um, but Aries, you're going to have more opportunities to figure out more about what you want. It's, it's you know, you've done a lot for a lot of people. You've been of service. You are dedicated to your family. You provide for them. And now it's your turn. Now it's your turn to look after you. And so even though this is going to be a little emotional, like with this, with the moon, but you're also discovering more inside of yourself what your needs are and you're connecting with your inner child. That's big really, in the light of things of moving forward with 2024. There is going to be change um, in relationships, though, that this is clear. Um, it won't be so elusive either about, is this the right person? Is this a, the right partnership? 
any of those questions are going to become very clear. It's just that you're not, it's going to seem like you're not ready to let them go. They're taking my attention to what's on her arm here. It looks like balance. So, and it's also talking about that in the moon card with, um, the dark and light side of ourselves, the shadow and the light. And this year moving ahead is about bringing in more light and making things fun and lighthearted and happy. So whatever was dragging you down, that's about to change in 2024. Beautiful. I love this for you, Aries. It's, um, I have a lot of Aries people in my, um, soul family and a personal family, which is nice. Um, and, and I'm just, it, this is really good. It, this is going to be a big change for a lot of you. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, Aries, that is you. Now we're going to go on to Taurus. Oh, Taurus. Yes. Ah, yes, I'm a Taurus. <laughs> I'm a double Taurus Capricorn. I'm a triple Earth in my sign. My rising sign is Capricorn. So let's, so I'm excited to do this one for 2024. See what it, there is here for Taurus. Astorians. There's a lot of other readers I listen to that are excellent in their readings and what they do in their readings. And wow, Taurus has always got some magic coming out. A lot of big changes and exciting new beginnings. I can say that for sure. All right, here we go. Here we go. Five of Swords, confusion is ending. Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. Still working on the Pentacles. But. 2024 is going to be about getting command. And this is clear now. You're coming out of the head fog. If that was there before and you didn't know what it was going to look like, it's moving now. That's a good sign. Taurus, I like that. This is a big year of change for everyone. But each sign has a unique piece that goes with it. And that's what we want to look at for 2024 to see what are these unique pieces for each of us. Oh, let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out. Wow, this is unusual. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this card is, it's situated this way, okay? It's getting ready to go in reverse. And the Four of Wands is about starting to get where you want to go. And there is some celebration. Four of Wands is, I always look at this too, is community and getting together with community. And find, finding the balance from the inside and the outside. The other two cards here that are straight up is Page of Swords and Justice. Okay. For the new year, for 2024, um, you're going to have brilliant ideas. Um, you know, maybe as a Taurus, you're, you are a scientist or maybe you're um, a creator. But all the amazing ideas are going to come through just at the right time. And justice. There'll be justice where it's like, it's my turn to be able to shine. If you haven't been shining, then it's your turn. So before this celebration happens, you have to get out and show up in the world. Like shine your light, share your knowledge, share your wisdom, create space for others to, to heal and to grow. Um, it doesn't have to be something spiritual. It could be totally something different. Maybe you start a group, you know, a reading club or a writing club, or you join um, 
go, you go golfing. <laughs> Are you going to create something new that you're going to get to have some new life experiences? You're coming out of the, the ho drum. Last year was trying to figure this all out. Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. So this could also with, of course, we always, we all have free will. And if you get out there and do these things, then this card is not going to go upside down. It's going to go the other way. And it's going to go right side up. Just like that. And then there's going to be cause to celebrate. And you're going to feel like you're part of the community um, on a large scale, like part of the world. Also part of where you live and your community of like-minded people. And if you haven't founded your like-minded people, you may want to do that. Right? There's some kind of justice here too. If you're going through any legal proceedings, there, there's a good outcome for that. Uh, or something hasn't been in balance within yourself. And you, if you're looking at the shadow and the light and trying to um, maneuver in the world in a more balanced way, you're going to figure that out for sure. There's some new things that are going to be happening. So the, the main thing here is do things that keep you out of this brain fog. Too much thinking is not good for any of us. That's for sure. But I like this card is in motion to go either this way or this way. But sorry, it was like that. You go like that. Let's see if there's a final card here of the outcome for you, Taurus, for 2024. I like this. Look, you'll be connecting in more with your emotions. Uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. Oh, look at this. Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Figuring out your magic, not holding everything so close to your chest. Relationships are going to change as well. Things are going to change up. And you're going to discover your true magic of moving in this world, co-creating with others. And it's not going to be slow. Knight of Pentacles is like, slow moving, <laughs> walking along. But no, it's not going to be slow. It's going to be quick and fast and furious, Taurus. Things are changing to what you've been dreaming and creating. That, that is the key word here. Okay, that, that is for Taurus. Now we're gonna go on to Gemini. Gemini. 2024. Second one's good spirit. Oh, goodness. Okay. Lovers kind of came out like that, Gemini. Five of Cups in reverse. Oh, look at this. Page of Wands in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Huh. You're learning to love self. In 2024, there's somebody new coming into the picture, Gemini. This also could indicate, remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, this also could be your inner self, loving self, and you figured out a way to do it. Going inside. Um, you're exploring your inner child and what that means for you. There's still work to do with the heart and opening yourself up to possibilities. But Gemini, what's going to be important for you is that you have to work on yourself first before attracting this new relationship. There's a message that wants to come through in 2024. But yeah, there, there's, there is a cause of um, moving through 2024 making sure that you do you're doing your inner work so that you attract the person that you're dreaming or 
creating the balance inside of yourself. So you recognize that you're loving you and then you will attract the right person. But there's still some work to do. You're coming out of the fog of, I'm not happy with life. I would like to have a partner um, or I would like to have a better career, job, whatever that is that you're trying to create. It all has to happen within you. But you're starting to realize this. I, and this card is like that. So it's almost straight up. So there's a, there's a little bit more to do. It may not be a lot. But for 2024, you're still exploring um, yourself at this point. I'd like to know more about the Page of Wands, actually. Second one is really grateful for the messages. Is here to share with Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. There we go. A little explanation for the page of wands. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Beautiful. King of Cups in reverse. Ace of Wands. Okie dokie. There's someone really with a lot of strength that an admire that you have. Um, but, you know, they're a bit elusive and they're a bit, they don't reveal everything. Now, they're strong. I'm just looking at the lion in the back. Uh, but there is somebody coming forward. Um, however, they're not they're not big on wanting to connect with their emotions. They're, they're, they're interested in creating their world. And so whoever this is that you're trying to match up with is not showing up clearly yet, but it will. Ace of Wands is indicating that this individual is very intuitive, but also exploring their inner self. Isn't that interesting? There may be a desire that you're both going to be doing the same thing and this is how you meet or this is how um, you're both going to be working on yourselves. That's really good. You're attracting someone who is intuitive but also is on this journey about connecting with the heart and the emotions. So, King of Cups. Now, if this person isn't good for you, like everybody has to make their own choices in partnerships and everything that we do, it's all up to you. And if you feel this isn't an alignment, then don't engage with it. You know, this also could be, you're intuitively picking up that this may be a temporary thing. Now, if this is a change in career, um, this is moving forward swiftly with these changes as you learn more about your how to love yourself, self-care, uh, making sure you speak up for yourself, having that strength. These are things you're going to learn, Gemini. So that might be another scenario of what's being presented here for 2024. And, oh, there we go for the last card. It, justice is in reverse. So... There's going to be some challenges around partnerships where, yeah, you're, there's going to be a sense of feeling that it's not, it's not where you want to be. And you're going to be figuring that out though, in 2024, the more you connect with your heart, the more you're going to figure that out. But it's going to feel like, oh, it's just, it's a lot of work. This relationship may be a lot of work and you're not interested in doing that. It is all up to you, Gemini. Well, that's for you for 2024, Gemini. Let's move on to Cancer. Cancer. This is in the month of July. End of June, into July. Oh, what is here for Cancer? Wow. I have 
Cancer Friends 2. Like to see what. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The Hanged Man and the Queen of Cups. Wow. Cancer. You, you know, things are going to be really connecting with your higher knowing. Wow. You're not going to have to look at things from a different point of view. Because you're going to hear very clearly from your higher self what you need to do. It's going to be clear. For 2024, uh, you're going to have your emotions in check. Meaning, when you sense a trigger, you're going to go, oh, there's something there that for me to work on. Something there. Um, on the other hand, for some folks, maybe you're not used to doing this hand, the hangman approach, like looking at it from a totally different point of view. So if you're very much stuck in the head, right, and you're not trusting yourself, then this point of view, this different perspective, you're not interested in it. You just want to do your thing. <laughs> want to do your thing I like that that's okay too if you just want to do your thing but it's learning you're going to be learning how to really trust that higher self I love it this one came out too Ooh, seven of cups seven of cups is like that so it wants to go right side up again there's decisions here where do where is where do I want to live? Where do I want to work? Choices, choices. What's going to make me happy? Your higher self knows. Higher self totally knows. Cancer. Aha. Let's see. I'm just going to take it one good spirit. Guys, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you. All right. These are wanting to turn. Interesting. This wants to turn this way. This The tower would be um, in reverse, but it's, it's not, though. It's this way. The hermit wants to go right side up, and the three of wands. <laughs> oh, cancel. Well, you don't want to go anywhere too fast this coming year. Like, what I want to say is there's not going to be any uh, big change unless you decide. See these choices? Unless you decide you're going to make these changes. And what do you need to change? You're still trying to figure that out, what you want to do. And three of wands is like, you're ready. You're really ready, but you feel like there's you're missing something. So, but your higher self knows. That's the thing. So no hesitating. To me, this is like hesitation. Thinking too much about what you should do. That's what's showing up. This is a general reading, so take what resonates. Uh, for each individual in the cancer cancer sign you have free choice remember that so this could this scenario could be you know you're not going to make any big moves until you have all the information that's good right no moves until you get all the information and then this will go like this and that means there's not going to be any big things that are going to blow up because you're going to have all the information that's just that's the information that's telling me right now this could be like career home personal relationships uh partnerships creating a new way of being on this planet you have all the answers coming through like it's going to be in your every day it's going to show up in your every day true as true as you want it to be as long as you're allowing it to come through and you're listening see this is the thing you don't think about it it's listen to your higher self there's nothing to think about you just do it 
because it's in front of you. It's time to move. This time frame between the 20th of January and the end of April is really your opportunity to make some impact. So hesitating is not going to help. There's movement that wants to happen, but it's slow and steady. Slow and steady is good. What I'm seeing is that you just have to decide, get out of your head here and decide what you're doing. Like, like spirit show you. Cancers are very connected. They're a water sign, a water element. But I like this. This is really good cancer. Okay, let's move on. We're going to Leo season. Leo, Leo. Oh, they're fiery. Okay. I sense that Leos overall are going to have some challenges this year. Lovers in reverse. Six of pentacles. Five of swords. Right side up. Judgment in reverse. Three of pentacles in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. Ten of swords right side up. And the two of pentacles this way. <laughs> well, those are a lot of cards, hey? Leo, what did I say? Okay, you're still learning how to love self. Oh my goodness. But there's passion. There's a clear, there's a clearness of how to move ahead in your tonal. That's really good. Whether it's career switch, whether it's you're moving towards what you love and enjoy. Now that's key. That is really key here. It, that's, that's just speaking about some of the inner work you've been doing. However, you're still thinking too much. 2024 is like, there's nothing, there's nothing to figure out. Like it's there in front of you. You're trying to bring balance to your masculine and feminine. And as you go through 2024, you are going to come out of this brain fog of like, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I love this. So some Leos are going to feel stuck at the beginning half. But there's movement. I like that. Judgment. So if you are a person that judges self a lot, uh, that's going to change. Okay? But judgment is also coming. May not be ready right off the get-go. Like I see this like the first half. Uh as you do life in 2024 and as things change, um, cards change, right? Because we're in flow of energy. It's not static at all. It's always changing and moving depending on what you're doing and the choices we make. So there's going to be less judgment on you always in your head. That's going to happen. I. That's good because that means you're working through this process. Three of Pentacles. This is all about more about you, not the pe like not about your family, not about the people you work with. This is all about you, Leo. This is something you have to figure out this year. And if you're an older person and you're just like still stuck in your other ways, it's never too late. Okay, it's never too late to come out of that. You're getting ready to retire, perhaps. You know, but you're going to do more solitude things like on your own. You're not going to be going after the big go, go big or go home stuff. The Knight of Swords, you know, he's racing to his motorcycle to get somewhere. <laughs> or he thinks he's going to go somewhere. There isn't this um, worry or rush to get through something. You're going to start to feel the flow in life. You're going to start to balance your masculine and feminine and really appreciate what's in front of you moving forward for the year. This looks like this is happening later in the year where you actually, you have figured out a way to not be stuck in the head. And that's really good. It's going to, you're going to see the light of day. You're going to have a big aha. 
And that might be because of all the work you've been doing, your inner work. This is going to be reflective throughout the year. So out of the gate for January, coming to the end of January, these are just things you're aware of. And you're going to start moving towards figuring out how, how different it's going to be for you showing up in the world. This is all about you in 2024, Leo. These are the changes. You have to start speaking up for yourself, speaking your truth of what you want, where you want to be, where you want to go. It doesn't matter. You could be 80 <laughs> and you might be on this journey. You could be really young. If you're young, yay. If you figure that out at a young age, that's amazing. So Leo, um, that's what popped up for you. Like all those cards right out of the gate. Uh, sacred ones, spirit. Truly grateful for all the messages. Is there anything else we need to add for Leo for 2024? It's good to jot down some of these things for yourself as you go through your journey in 2024. Eight of Wands straight up. Yeah. Once you figure this out, and I don't know what at point in 2024 you do, but wow, wow, nothing's going to stop you. You're going to move ahead quick. It's going to be just fabulous where you're going to be going. Like, I love this card because it just like, it's lighting up the way. So you're going to find something that lights the way, lights the way. Connection to spirit. Oh, and here's some cards to just end it all. <laughs> Justice, so this wants to go straight up. Temperance wants to go in reverse. Ace of Cups wants to go in reverse, but they're like this. Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands and Knight of Wands. All of these want to turn this way. So if I took all these cards and looked at it, you still have choices to make. We all do. The choices we make through our free will is what dictates how the year is going to go. So this is one scenario that Spirit's saying this is could be what it is. Um, you might feel justice in this particular case, but it's not going to feel good, whatever this is. There's something that's going to come out that you're going to feel trapped. And it's going to affect your heart space. What they're saying is, don't get to that spot. Stay in this peaceful thing you created. Something may happen, though, depending on choices, Leo, that this gets all muddled up again. The good news about this card in this scenario is... You will find a way out of it, hands down. But it's going to be confusing because you feel like you can't trust your higher self here. And you have all the wisdom and you have all the tools. You know what to do. You do, Leo. This is going to require action, not standing still. See, temperance is reverse. Yes, you have patience, you need to have patience, but it's figuring out, balancing the masculine and feminine. That is for all of us. Wow, Leo, there's some stuff. Change. This is more about the outer world, and this is about the inner world. Embrace whatever change that is, because it'll help you grow. But you know what to do with it. And remember, this was on... It came out like that. So this is could be something, depending on what you decide to do. Okay, that's the message for Leo for 2024. Wowzers, wowzers. Okay, we're going to move into Virgo now. Earth sign. Oh, Virgos. Amazing Virgos. <laughs> I know some Virgos. They're strong people. Um, strong. Strong, strong people. Especially when it comes to the mind. 
strong mind. Okay, Virgo, what's the message for you? Sacred ones, great spirit, truly grateful for the messages that you're sharing with us today. What is the message for uh, Virgo for 2024? We have, in reverse, the King of Pentacles. Page of Wands, straight up. Page of Cups, straight up. Five of Pentacles. Oh, there's still something that you don't feel that you're in aligned with. Um, feeling kind of left out because of circumstances in life. You're still working on your heart. Yay! Working on it. But there's more coming to you because you're keeping your heart open for a go. I love that. Page of Wands. Beautiful. For 2024, you're going to feel freer than you ever have in a long time. Just like all the hard work you've been doing. Um, but yeah, it's for 2024... There's an ease. There's going to be some really great messages coming through. And they're taking my attention to kind of like beyond this landscape here. And this is all like lit up, right? Wands are fire. Virgos are not, they're not fiery. They're just very, you know, usually very, um, Oh, grounded. They're very, they know what they need to do, but sometimes things get in the way. If their heart isn't open, things get in the way. And so then what ends up happening is that there feels like there's a lack, but that's an illusion. This is saying there's an illusion about that. King of Pentacles is like you still figure that there's scarcity. Like you, maybe this is about a career too, that you feel like your, um, your value is more for the company that you're working for. You desire to be an entrepreneur, but you feel you don't have the skills, your lack, lacking skills. This is going to change though, Virgo, in this coming year, because the more that connected to the heart you're going to get some lovely messages of knowing that you can, you can make these changes. You can increase your abundance. You have the knowledge, it's just dormant, sleeping. 2024, this is about you feeling more. You might be thinking, oh my God, I have to feel more. Yeah, see, look. Ten of Pentacles. When you figure it out, like when you connect to this energy and this energy is going to move away in 2024. That's the sense. That's just, these are lingering things. Ten of Pentacles, they'll be cause for celebration with community, with family. The abundance will start to come in in ways that you did not imagine, right? You did not think that it could happen that way, but it's going to. Now, this card is not straight up yet. It's the emperor, usually indicated by an Aries or a very strong business-oriented mind, individual too. So if this is the workplace, then there's lots. There's going to be change in the company. If you just keep showing up as your authentic self, you're going to be in a good position. And you can reap the rewards. So no more thinking about lack. This emperor is getting ready to go in reverse. And so again, command of what you know. Use the talents of what you know. And this is also looking at how does that show up in the world? Because that's going to change. This masculine energy is not going to be the way to do it anymore. This is like saying you can't do it the old way. Although you're going to want to do that, Virgo. You're going to want to go into the old ways of doing things. But because you didn't, or you decide not to down the road, you're going to have better success. 
And this is still, this is still there because that's how the, some of the world is still showing up, right? It's still playing out the patriarchal piece and we are in the feminine. So maybe you come up with a really brilliant idea of how to move forward. 2024. So this is Ace of Swords in Reverse. It's not going to happen in 2024. It's formulating in 2024. So there's change. Ten of Wands. Yeah, in reverse. This would be like moving on to a whole different story that hasn't happened that may not happen in 2024 for virgos there's still things that you're working on however you're going to be just happy happy where you are there's still things to work out although all that's in the way is is the method okay the method that's what they're telling me. The Hierophant. Straight up. Okay, Virgo. You know your higher self. You connect to spirit really well. And when this gets confusing, these parts, it's just saying, connect to your higher knowing. Connect to your higher knowing and follow that. Trust that. You're good at that. You know the answers. Definitely. Hierophant's a five. There's also something indicated here that you're putting together that's going to benefit others. And so what I want to say about this, it has to be new and different. It cannot be the same old way. It has to be new and different. Unique. Different. Different, Virgo. It can't be the same old way. Because then you're going to feel like these things here in 2024. Oh, yes, Virgo. There you go. Okay, we're going to move on to Libra. Air sign. Oh, Libra. What do we got going on? Okay, Libra. Sorry. <laughs> Breaking out into song. What's the message, Sacred Ones, in 2024 for Libra? Yes, Libra, Queen of Swords in Reverse, King of Cups, right side up. Wow. Well, King of Cups, like, Cups is water. This is like being on top of how what you're feeling, Libra. Very connected to spirit. Very aware of your emotions. However, still don't have good command of those thought forms for 2024. That's going to keep creeping in. Right? Ah, oh, it's general reading, remember. So they're taking my attention. Yeah, oh, this is really cool. So if I look at the corner here, there's a cup. And there's something inside of you that there's an emotion trapped inside that is really deep that needs to heal there's something there libra that is hidden you haven't revealed it it affects probably different relationships as well but i think it's going to come to light because the more you connect with your higher knowing you're going to know what that is you're going to know what have i hidden this is the Queen of Swords is she's on top of it, but it, this is in reverse. Typically, you are. Typically, you have control of that. But twenty twenty four is like you're going even deeper than what you've gone before. You know, you thought you did some work before. Like, check it out now. Twenty twenty four is gonna really, really bring in some interesting um, opportunities for you on your journey. Okay, so what is else here for Libra for 2024? So I'm truly really grateful for all the messages and cards. Here we go. I love it. The hangman wants to go in reverse. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
really this piece that needs to heal um is is it makes it very difficult to look at things in 180 degree with a different perspective right whether you're looking at the world as everything is daffodils and daisies but on the other side of that is always the opposite the contrast of it okay and if this is a challenge, then this is something to work towards, Libra. I mean, you're going to figure it out in 2024. That's the cool thing. You have this amazing connection to spirit. Why wouldn't you figure it out? So look at this. Amazing. The best card in the deck. All right. So these are all neutral right now. See that? Only you can decide how they're going to turn right whether they go this way or whether they go that way neutral so you're holding up the beauty that you're creating that's that's just in neutral the star pulling all the information and what you know and the six of pentacles the answer lies in this piece right here if you are having a challenge trying to look at things from a different perspective, this is going to require some deep work because the world is waiting for whatever you have to share is going to take you right out of where you're stuck right now. If you feel stuck, maybe you don't feel stuck. Maybe things are just trotting along. But in 2024, at some point, it's going to feel like you can't move ahead. What's really great about this is that you can see that the sun, the star, this, this change that has to happen is going to make all the difference in the world. Okay. This pile came out together. Whether it goes like this. Okay. Or whether it goes <laughs> the other way. Or individually. There's something you'll be working on. Figuring out who am I? Where do I come from really? And the six of pentacles. This is like creating movement in your world so that you can create what you want to create. And that could be a business a new career, learning new knowledge, right? You're learning new knowledge. If it goes the other way, well, and then the sun with this like that just means on the journey for 2024, you're working towards the sun. It's just, it's not all going to happen in 2024. It's simply what it's saying. And individually, they could turn any way depending on the choice. But what it's pinpointing is this your amazing connection to spirit. What is there that's hidden? That's what you're looking for. This also could mean that somebody's hiding something from you. If you're in a relationship, something's hidden away. And there will not be any change or movement until it's resolved. That's what it's saying. That's what it's saying, Libra, for 2024. There's, there's work to do. Oh, goodness. Work to do. Let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio. Another water sign. I think Scorpio. Okay, we got a card that's flashing. Here we go. Flashing, Scorpio. Oh, yes, we got the High Priestess. And we got the Chariot. Two major Arcana cards. Movement. 2024. So a whole new connection to manifesting. Now, if you're an individual that typically moves quickly with everything, there is going, you're going to understand the difference between having to take a lot of action versus just letting it come in. So if you're learning to be more, as we call in shamanism, the dreamer instead of the stalker, this is like a very good comparison. You're going to understand what that is. 
And you're going to allow things to just come. And they're going to manifest. They're going to manifest beautifully. At least this is what I'm sensing at this point. But it's not full charge ahead. It's in the right timing that spirit delivers this information. Which I think is exciting. In the right timing. Okay, so what else is here for Scorpio to, to hear? What are the messages? Sacred ones. Great spiritual. We're grateful. This beauty. King of Swords in reverse. Um, there's going to be an understanding of what it's like to not command everything from the mind. Oh, oh something really amazing. Yeah, it, this doesn't mean you're losing, you know, uh, ways to f operate in the tonal. You're still listening to your higher self. Um, there's also a little bit of a message here that this doesn't mean you don't connect to your physical body. This means you have to continue to, um, work on being grounded while you're in this state because dreamers still take action. It's balancing the two, but you know, we are, sometimes the pendulum has to swing way over here and then it swings way over there. You're going to feel more like, I'm just going to let it happen and let it come to me because that feels right. Yeah, you're correct, but you still have to engage a bit of your ego to make decisions. So that might be a challenge. Just saying, might be. In whether it's a scenario of a relationship, partnership, creating a business, working for yourself, leaving a career. There's some change here of how you operate in the world. Ten of Cups came in reverse too. Uh, this is like happy, 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 happy with everything. Happy with my emotions. No, I would say there's things still that you're working on in regards to family. Still working on family stuff. Whether that's your soul family, your lineage family, there's still work there for you to do. But you know what? You're going to get the answers. You're going to get these answers in 2024. And then, then you can make some movement. Right? Scorpio. Oh, Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Yeah, it's going to take a little, a little bit of a journey right now. It's like, it's certainly not time to rock the boat with anything in 2024. Like big, big changes. You may be asked to stay where you are. <laughs> that could be. I'm laughing because on the most part, there's big movement. But the big movement is also about the stop and go and the chaos that's going to ensue. And you're going to feel that chaos and that's going to be a little confusing and you're going to have to rely on your higher self for judgment, for guidance. What do I need to do in 2024 to make sure that my journey is, uh, I'm still doing what I love to do or I'm still in the relationship that I love to be in or whatever the case is. Yeah, there's some, some things to be addressed. Okay. What's the final message for Scorpio in 2024? Sacred ones, super grateful. Mmm. Aha. Ten of Pentacles. Community is going to be important. Uh, the Emperor in reverse. This is not a one-man show, is what they're saying. You have to come out of the clouds, engage. The more you engage with community and you're with your people, the more that you'll feel part of something. Do not get lost in what you think. Okay. Do not get lost in what you think is not feeding you. Or maybe that's not the right thing to say. Don't get lost in old programs. Don't get lost in old programs. 
it's changing. Relationships are changing. Be with the people who get you. That's, wow, that's going to be important for you, Scorpio. Uh, be with the people that get you. I'm just going to keep saying that. Be with the people that get you. There's some changes happening. You're going to see things way different than you have in the past. There's a pattern that's shifting. Do things that are fun. Do things that are fun. 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 <laughs> well, that's coming through loud and clear. Is there any final messages for Scorpio? Sacred ones. Truly grateful. Knight of Pentacles. It's turning right side up. And it's going to be a slow integration. It's not like in your face. It's, yeah. Give it time. 20, you'll see where it needs to go in 2024. Like, I like this because you're just walking your journey. You're not racing towards it. You figured out some balance. How to be on this journey with others, with yourself. I think this is beautiful. Ready to go, Scorpio. All right. On to Sagittarius. Beautiful fire sign. Those Sages I love. <laughs> the Sages that I know, let me tell you. They're amazing. Passionate people. They have a lot of passion. Okay, this is what came out. Holy cow, Sag. This came out this way. Like that. They're not upside down. Okay. That means there's change happening. Look what's here. Strength. Four of cups. Four of swords. The magician. Seven of swords. The lovers. And the two of cups. This. This is showing... Okay, I'll show you all these, but they're all neutral. They're all, they all landed this way, right? But I'll show you what they are. Um, strength, four of cups, four of swords. And then we'll tell the story. Magician, seven of swords, lovers in river, well, lovers, two of cups. This one was actually like that. If if I was reading them and letting them go the way they wanted to go. All right. You have the strength now. And the understanding of how you want to care for self. Even though it feels very raw and it's the heart space that you're working on. And being true to who you are. And you're figuring out how to wield that. Like, this is the magician. This is the one card. It's like putting it all together and making it work for you. This is usually about something getting stolen. But Seven of Swords, it's like, I also see he's finding the, he's finding the way. You're finding a way that works for you. Doesn't matter if you're married, not married. You're working for someone. Um, what matters is how you go about this, that you recognize that you have a strength, that the self-care piece, you understand about self-care, but the thing that's in the way, it, it's, it's your heart. Like four swords is like on the verge of, I just give up because it's not fulfilling me. What am I missing? And Love for self and the two of cups. Bound, learning to love self more and the two of cups. Balancing that beautiful masculine and feminine energy inside of you. This is about your personal journey. And it's going to open up in 2024. This landed like that. You're going to discover that you have the strength and the ability, the wisdom and that you don't have to sneak around. <laughs> You're going to learn to love yourself. And it's going to be easier than to show up in the world. Because right now, it's scary. You don't really want to show up in the world. There has been much change happening for you. On so many levels. But it's not about everybody else. It's about you. Right now. 
2024 is a journey of self-discovery. Sagittarius. This is amazing. Wow. And you've got the strength. Like just get these cards. You just have to make a decision. And then off you go. All right. I love this. Here's the rest of your story for 2024. King of Cups. Straight up. Five of Cups. Six of Wands. Eight of Swords. Ace of Cups. Oh, beautiful. Seven of Wands. Look at this. Like, look at this. Understanding your feelings. Yeah, you know, there's going to be times during the year where it just doesn't feel comfortable. And Sagittarius, you'll get over it. <laughs> Six of Wands is like, Eureka! I figured out a way how I can engage with people without being triggered all the time. And you're going to come out of that trying to figure it out in the head. Always figuring, trying to figure it out, figure it out. You know, you're coming out of that. You're going to listen to your higher self more. You're going to listen to what your heart wants more. Bumps in the road, yes. But you're going to figure it out. This is a card of figuring it out. This is the Ace of Cups. Oh, new beginning with self. That's what you discover in 2024. A whole new way of being. And the Seven of Wands is like just Zen. Like, oh. And you're going to come into your physical being. And you're going to really associate what your body needs and what it, what do you need in order to survive or thrive in the coming years? Okay, Sat, That's amazing. Wow, that's powerful. That's big stuff for you. I tell you. I'll tell you what, that's big stuff. Okay, we're going on to Capricorn, Earth sign. Ooh, Capricorn. Well, Capricorn, everything's changed. <laughs> I don't know. That's a sense. Um, Capricorns are taking command of their own journey. And they're going to be doing their journey the way their higher self is calling them to do so. Sacred ones, truly grateful for all the images and messages. Thank you so much. We have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the High Priestess straight up in the chariot in reverse. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Look at that. Well, this is starting out with 2024 as the new beginnings. There's still, there's still things to work out. There's still information coming through. But the dreamer side, the dreamer side might be taking over more than the doing side. And this is preventing this abundance piece. So, cappies, cappies. 2024 is like time to move. So, if you are always out of your body, it's time to get in your body. I mean, you're mm -hmm. a sign. So getting into your body so you can take action. This also could mean maybe you're more of a doer and you're connecting to your higher self more and you're going, oh, Eureka. That's what that feels like to not do. We often talk about in, in our community, our group, about not doing and how hard it is sometimes to not do. 2024 may be that you're learning to dance with your dreamer and your doer. Six of swords in reverse. Oh, it's, it's a slow go out of the gate. Still a little in the mind. Seven of swords. Straight up. Uh, you're still looking. You're looking for the doorway. Capricorn looking for uh how do I get out of here man the moon look at the moonlight shining it's illuminating where to go so that's good illuminating where to go okay these want to go this way so they're in a turn two of cups in reverse king of cups straight up five of cups straight up oh wow six of wands and ears all right, same, almost the same. Coming out of the fog, inner work. 
you do figure it out though through some connecting deeper in with your heart and higher self do i stay or do i go in a relationship do i stay or do i go and uh, also this could be i'm working on balancing my masculine feminine i'm figuring out i'm figuring out how to um do and dream dream and do do and dream dream and do figuring it out keep dancing that's what it's saying keep working on it you have the wisdom connection to higher self you know the answers this is nothing new you already know this by the way capricorn you know the answers any other messages for Capricorn for 2024? Okay. These are neutral cards. All right. Ten of Cups. King of Swords. Eight of Cups. And the Emperor. These all want to go straight up. That means you're on the brink of discovery. Of the happily ever after. Being very and much in love with you. And what you're creating command good learning good command where you're going on your journey and that balancing the masculine feminine is all about you know that gender thing it's like and the hermetic principles it's also about the balance of polarity and doing the dance of doing and dreaming and dreaming and doing you figure it out and it's all going to change. You're not going to do it like it used to be done. However, when you need to call on that energy, the masculine. See? King of Swords, Emperor. When you figure out how to do that inside of yourself, you're going to create much happiness. 2024 is going to be figuring that out. Like these cards are neutral, right? These cards are like getting ready to turn to an amazing outcome for 2024. Of course, we all have free will. So if it changes at any point in time during the process, it could go this way. And then you don't figure it out. But it's there. It's, it's there. It's, these are the possibilities. Capricorn for 2024. Now let's move into Aquarius. Aquarius, we're in the sign of Aquarius. Almost. Uh, we're coming out of Capricorn. And we're going into Aquarius. So, and this is an amazing time. So Aquarius, what do you got going on? King of Pentacles. Three of Cups. <gasps> wow. Command. You know what you need to do. Your higher wisdom. You know exactly what has to happen. There's a relationship dynamic that you're living with that will improve. And it'll just be the three of you again. I like it. Yeah, yeah. three of pentacles, straight up. Two of wands, straight up. Five of Wands in reverse. This is amazing. Whatever was in your way before to make headway in your work life, projects, uh, career. Wow, you're ready to take action. This is going to take you somewhere, maybe even across the globe. But you're ready. You've got the map. You're ready to go. Wow. Wow. It's very clear. Things are going to be exciting. Creativity is going to come in. And the five of wands is showing like whatever was messing things up is now out of the way. Abundance. There's a roadway to abundance coming here. Okay. And neutral again. Holy moly. This king of pentacles too is having command of your finances. And as you create your world in this coming time frame in the next few months, 
the creativity is going to flow and you can create whatever you want to create, especially if it comes to your living, how you make a living in your career. So in neutrality, we've got the fool, we've got the five of pentacles, eight of pentacles, the moon, and the page of cups. You're starting a whole new journey and you haven't decided which way you want to go yet. There's a potential here of getting stuck or feeling lack. And maybe that's where you are right now. But 2024, there's just a decision of which journey you want to go on. Yeah, there's lots of work to do, whether it's inner work, whether it's this to do with your career, but you're going to have this amazing opportunity that's going to come up and you're going to want to take it. It has the potential of making you very happy. Here's the moon. You know, the moon, emotion, water, <laughs> the feminine. Yeah, there, that's, you're going to learn more about that. This piece is like getting in touch with your emotions. Not always thinking. Well, how, how are your emotions? Like how, are, what's your relationship with your, your emotions? Your, this page of cups, I always look at this one as feeling it in your heart. There's going to be a great message that's going to make you really happy, but it has to be in alignment with what you love. And creating something that isn't like work. It's fun. It's yummy. It's fun. <laughs> Has to be fun. The fool. Yeah, it's a whole new opportunity. A whole new beginning. A whole new journey. Hear what your heart is saying. Because if there's any doubt at all, depending on the choices that you make, it's, it's about caring for you and yourself. You matter. It doesn't matter if you have a family unit. Yes, you're going to do all the normal, you know, the practical things. But you still have to look after yourself. You have to look after yourself. Otherwise, you can't care for your family or the people you love. Now you're going to figure out what that is for you, Aquarius. Lots of new beginnings and creation. Career family situation all there's a lots of changes happening so depending on your choice about what you want to do that is there for you um and it's ending with a six of pentacles that is wanting to go reverse and so if right now you know it may feel that you can't accomplish it that it's not gonna bring you any money that's just a story you can change you can change that you can make it straight up. It's not upside down yet. But in 2024, there's going to be like decisions to make. Decisions and decisions and decisions. Which way to go? Very good, Aquarius. I love it. That's big for you. And let's move into Pisces. The last one. Uh, let's see. Pisces. Ooh, Eight of Cups. Still struggling with some emotional things going into 2024. This isn't quite straight up. Oh, nice page of swords. New, colorful, bright ideas of creativity. This is a water sign. Hermit and death and rebirth. Okay, Pisces. You're going through a big... It could be a physical change. It could be a cycle that is now ending. This could be like if you're a woman, you're going through menopause or you're becoming a young, like a woman. Uh, let's see what else. This could mean a new um, or yeah, you could be retiring. But this is an opportunity to look at what is changing because Maybe your typical thing is not to spend a lot of time hermiting. <laughs> or maybe you overdo the hermit thing and and you shouldn't be. You should be engaging and, and listening to the ideas that come to you in order to sail through these cycles a little easier for yourself. So the death and rebirth piece is really important for you this year. Uh, you're going to be coming through on the other end of 2024 with 
just it feels it's gonna feel like oh the butterfly in the chrysalis going through change and it's going to be uncomfortable at times and they're saying for you to hermit if that's your typical way of doing it that's not going to work for you pisces what else is here pisces for you as a message for 2024 maybe that's it oh no that's too too many cards too, i'm gonna take the top two though ah the wheel i love it so 10 the wheel this could also be like you're really understanding your physical being this is like the wheels of time and connecting to your lifetimes of beauty and shining and then allowing to figure out what that balance is for you in this time frame. This time frame. Yeah, there's a balancing thing and you're going to hear more about connecting to your spirituality, Pisces. You might be very spiritual now. But there's something new that's going to come in for you. I like that. Something really new and amazing. <sighs> Two of Swords and Knight of Pentacles. So it's a slow process for you in 2024. But you got this. You have to be solid on the ground. Balancing the masculine and feminine. Discernment. Um, hearing your wisdom and there's a completion as you step into this new existence that you're creating for yourself. It's new. It's a new cycle. Two swords. Don't get all heady about it and trying to analyze everything because that won't work. And there's going to be they're saying oh, there's going to be all kinds of people wanting to give you advice. What you need to do is hear what you need to do for you. That's the important part. All right. The magician and the lovers in reverse. So to sum up for this reading for you, Pisces, you are a magical character that can create anything you want to create. Pisces people are so imaginative and typically very creative. And I do believe that 2024 is going to you're going to find out ways to deal with this, whatever it is, if it's physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual, that is going to work for you. Now, other things may have not worked for you in the past, but it's going to work for you. And the lovers, it's not about an outside relationship. It's about your inner work and your connection with self, the love for self, love for self. That's what they keep saying. That is going to be the work for uh for you for 2024 is really take ownership of how you love yourself and recognize that you're important and that everything you do touches other people in a beautiful way that's evident because whatever occupation you have is like you touch people in a really beautiful way they, you're not a person that injects yourself into a room. You are pleasantly present. <laughs> pleasantly present. <laughs> and, a, and a beautiful soul. Beautiful Pisces. Truly grateful. Well, that's the readings for all signs. Oh my goodness. That was, it took a while, but I'm done. And, uh, Please like, share, and subscribe. Truly grateful for everybody that comes and looks at their sign. Some of you may hear this message. Some of you won't. Some of you will feel it and hear it in the ethers. And to that end, all the information that you need for the 2024 timestamps to take a look at yours will be there. And as always, stay healthy. Much peace and love. 
and we will check back with you next month. Aho. Uh -huh.